NASA and Elon Musk's SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket lifted off this afternoon, beginning a new era of commercial spaceflight. The mission is the first from the U.S. in nearly a decade. CBS 2's Skylar Henry is at the Kennedy Space Center. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. The manned SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launch Saturday from the Kennedy Space Center opened a new frontier in space travel. It's the first time a private company, Elon Musk's SpaceX, has launched astronauts in a commercially built spacecraft. Two veteran astronauts, Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley, are on a 19-hour trip to the International Space Station. It is a real treat to watch a U.S. rocket take off from U.S. soil with NASA astronauts on board. It's a great feeling. Weather conditions cleared as liftoff approached during the afternoon. A first attempt was scrubbed Wednesday due to threat of lightning. President Trump and Vice President Pence viewed the departure from the Space Center in Florida. You feel the shake over here. It's pretty, pretty amazing. A beautiful sight. A beautiful ship, too. Spectators lined up in nearby towns for front and center views. NASA had asked people to watch from home because of the coronavirus pandemic. The space agency retired the space shuttles in 2011. Since then, it has paid the Russian space agency to to ferry U.S. astronauts to and from the International Space Station. Skylar Henry, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center.